Welcome, my friends. It seems as though we are getting to the end of the road for former Trump propagandist Steve Bannon, who, after being sentenced to four months in jail, has been out pending appeal. But it seems as though the party will end on July 1st. As Bannon has been told, it is time to report to prison and it really couldn't happen to a nicer propagandist. NBC News reports judge orders Steve Bannon to report to prison on July 1 for contempt of Congress sentence. The former Trump advisor was sentenced to four months for refusing to comply with the January 6 committee subpoenas, but it had been put on hold while he appealed. Here is Bannon ranting. One might even say raving more ranting than raving, I would say, but a little bit of both. Um, and <laughs> let's just listen to what he had to say. This is really wild. Major legal issues that have to be addressed. All of this is about one thing. This is about shutting down the MAGA movement, shutting down grassroots conservatives, shutting down President Trump. Not only are we winning, we are going to prevail. And every number and every poll shows that. There's nothing that can shut me up and nothing that will shut me up. There's You're prison, too failed. Prison, You're prison, going to jail. Built. Prison built our jail built that will ever shut me up. All victory to MAGA. We're going to win this. We're going to win this. More importantly, we're going to win on November 5th. In the <laughs> amazing land. So, as you can hear, an antagonist there screaming in the background. The Senate, the House, and also Donald J. Trump back as President of the United States. Thank you very much. Lock him up! Lock him up! <laughs> you know, it's it, <laughs> it's not usually a good idea after a judge has made a decision to start screaming <laughs> this way right outside the courtroom. It's just it's not usually what's recommended by counsel. And they are trying to make this all about how the judge is biased and the system and all this stuff. I want to remind you that the judge that ordered Steve Bannon to start his prison sentence on July 1st is not some liberal right uh, left wing extremist. It is a judge appointed by the failed former president and now a convicted felon himself, Donald Trump. So I don't know what to tell you as far as the judge is concerned, but this is the direction that it is going. Um, other interesting notes here. Uh, Bannon was found guilty on two counts of contempt of Congress in July 2022. So it's been almost two years since he's been found guilty. It is time to go to prison, my friend. Let's just do it. Uh, Bannon's sentence was on hold uh, pending appeal. Lawyers made their case in November. Appeals court upheld the conviction in May. Federal prosecutors filed a motion saying it's time to report to prison. Federal prosecutors argued there's no legal basis to continue staying the sentence. It's just like it's just time to go to prison. That's it. And uh, Bannon's lawyers say, no, no, no. You need to stay this until we go through the full appeals process, maybe even the Supreme Court. And of course, the goal being if Donald Trump gets himself elected president during all of this Michigas, uh, maybe then Trump is able to keep Bannon out of prison, period. It doesn't appear. It doesn't appear as though that is going to happen. And that is good news. If you live in the US, did you know that anyone can access your most private information using those people search sites? These sites are populated with information from data brokers, which have access to your social security number, login credentials addresses, location, history, even your online activity. But our sponsor Incogni is the service that will put your mind at ease. You just create an account, grant them the right to go to work for you, and then you sit back while Incogni has data broker sites, remove your personal data from their databases, and Incogni keeps you updated on the status of everything and they will handle any objections from those data brokers. This is often the reason people get robocalls because their info is on one of these sites that Incogni will take you off of. Scammers use that information to commit fraud against you. Go to incogni.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman to get 60% off an annual plan. The link is in the description.